So America is ar known around the globe to both wealthy nations and impoverished nations as the place to be. So let's talk about how many nations want to commandeer our land so that their people can flourish into liberty. Let's talk about how people want to crash America and that children of Indian lands, children of Asian countries, have been trained, I don't believe Japanese, to know how to run the Korean phones and computers that we import to America. So they already come into our land as college students, possibly, or high school students, knowing how to handle the internal workings and operating systems of our computers. But our college students and our junior high students and our high school students only get that in an elective class. So we've already failed America that could impact us for the next 10 years. The liars of America is we are America and nobody can touch us, and that's not true. The liars in America are white men, black men, Muslim men, Mexican men, and all kinds of girls who like to hack life from me and from you. They might be getting smarter about it because they hide more in the shadows with it, but the truth is that they are here to steal America. So if we don't start to pay attention to how our technology works, and if we don't start to put our life back to being really good collected communities of peace, love, and honor, and coming together in times of war, as opposed to warring each other, America will fold. And it won't matter who the president is at the time, and God forbid it becomes Trump again, because that man's a billionaire, so he can walk away at any time, and he's perfectly fine. And the man allegedly, according to his publicity, has COVID. Well, he gave it to himself. He injected it in himself. But here's the question I sort of quipped, is are we taking in this COVID antibody so that we are protecting ourselves against the aliens that could land from the sky? Or the people that are coming across the seas being allowed in our country that we don't really want here and that we aren't allowing here, but they're coming on our shores in a boat. You see, American border lines have to be protected all around. Indian international students need to go back home International companies have to be well sanctioned, and frankly, technology companies have to be reviewed. What is the mentality and the mission of those companies? Who's in charge of those organizations? What sort of technology are they bringing here? And I promise, I bought this body alarm thing from a girl who was promoting it, and that body alarm didn't work. And I spent $40 on one of these software programs. But now I've got some jerk in my family deleting my accounts, deleting my online profiles, deleting my life, and now i got shitbags in the next door staple shop who are so busy with their jobs that they're communicating that they have the right to crash my computers. Or is it somebody totally else going through their network to do it? Or is it a lying bitch of Satan who decided to put their hands in my bags while I was sleeping to do it? Or is it a part of the witness protection program saying, we've got to get rid of your life? And no, you don't, motherfucker. You never told me about that part. You failed me already, which is why I had to reposition myself. So go fuck you. I'm coming for you. But is America going to protect itself from the foreign bodies that are harming us? Is America as a group and collective going to stand together, side by side, tribe by tribe, color by color, race by race, and literally learn to how to mace an alien? I question that. Too many people think their rights are more important than others, and that's what they've done to lie to themselves. You have lied to yourself about your rights in my life. You've lied to yourself about your rights in other people's life. You've lied to yourself about your right to tell me that I don't know, get to know where my mother is being contained or if she's even alive. She's probably dead today already. And everything I've been told by siblings is contrived. But no, well, not one of you had the right to get into my cell phone and ruin it. Not one of you had the right to take the back off my phone and take the battery out. Not one of you had the right to do this. So who did that? And if they're American policemen, then they go to the yard. And that's the truth. You violated American laws. You violated the rules of your job. And you don't belong here in America. America is not a hobby, people. America, Inc. is what thrives across the world. America, Inc. and our borders keep your little motherfucking black ass safe. What I mean is your black bastard ass of Satan, not your color of your tribe. Your heart is dark and you play in the shadows. America is about light and the light of the Lord. If you haven't figured that out yet because you're stupid and you're immature and you think that having a job is a hobby because you're only in 20 hours a week, that's on your life. But a man like me chose to make his life working smarter, not harder. Not to swipe somebody's actual tagline from their company. But it's a great philosophy. Work smarter, not harder. It doesn't mean steal from people 
and be unreal.